Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. And I do want to start off my video by wishing you all a very happy Valentine's Day. Uh, this layout is definitely going to be uh, focused around love and hearts and all of the fun stuff that comes with Valentine's Day. Uh, this cut file is from Paige Evans. I picked it up from her Etsy shop. Uh, she had this special going all week. Um, and all of her cut files were half off. So I snagged this one and thought it would be perfect for my layout for this week. Uh, as soon as I saw the middle of the O's in each word, or each of the love words, I knew that I wanted to make shaker elements out of them. And the I Love You More sequin mix is perfect for shakers. It, they've got tons, or it's got tons of hearts and beautiful bright colors, and there's a lot of tiny little heart sequins. And it would be, I thought it would be perfect for a shaker. So I have started off um, by adding some acetate to the top and the bottom O and this shaker or these shakers were so so easy to make and um, you'll see why. And I'm completely obsessed with shakers. If you've watched a few of my latest Beagle Mom Scraps videos, I make a lot of shakers. They, I love sequins and shakers are my thing and I hope I inspire you to create one using a cut file. So once I've got my acetate glued down, this is going to create a window for my shaker. I am going to go ahead and add my foam tape. I'm trimming the acetate down um, so it none would be poking out and there wouldn't be any sharp edges. So now that I've got my uh, acetate already pasted, I'm going to go ahead and take some foam tape that I picked up at Home Depot. <laughs> Um, that is the only highlight of my trip whenever I go to Home Depot is to be able to pick up some of this uh, foam tape. Now, you don't have to use this fancy kind. You can use any um, foam adhesive that you have. The Walmart has great deals on foam tape. You can stack them up. I mean, Dollar, I believe Dollar Tree has some um, where you could just be able to layer them and stick them right up against each other so you won't have gaps. I just choose to use this because it's um, it goes fairly quickly for me. Um, but yeah, you don't have to use this one. You can use anything. Okay, so what I did is I took my foam tape and I um, layered it on top of each other and then I cut it in half to create the dimension as well as um, to make it stretch and go a long way. So I'm not wasting a lot of that foam tape because it is, it, it's expensive, like to be honest, it is. Um, so I layered it up and then I trimmed it and then I'm going in with my EK Success powder tool and I have rubbed it all over the acetate to get rid of static as well as on the sides of the foam tape I wanted to get rid of any adhesive that was sticking out so it would help reduce uh, my sequins sticking to the um, foam tape. Uh, I pulled out my punch thinking that a two inch circle would cover the back of these hearts but it doesn't. <laughs> um, so you'll, I think, I can't remember what I did, but you'll see here in just a second. Um, I don't even think I ended up using that paper there. And what took me the longest, honestly, was figuring out what paper was going to back my shaker. Like, you see how quickly it took me to do my shaker. I think for both of them, it was maybe six minutes um, to create the little pocket. Um, but see, yeah, I'm super picky about what I wanted for the background. Um, the paper that I'm using that I cut <clears throat> my cut file out of, that is from the La La Love line by Crate Paper. And I just happened to get that from a Paige Evans <clears throat> box that I just purchased from her. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I pulled out the my Whimsical collection or the 6x6 paper pad from Whimsical. And that's by Paige Evans. And there are is this gorgeous heart pattern paper that I used and I just cut little squares and it matched perfectly um, with my sequins. So I'm adding some extra adhesive to my foam tape just to double secure it. Um, I really don't want any of my sequins shaping out because there are a lot of tiny sequins in this mix. So I wanted to make sure that it was fully glued down so I didn't lose any of those precious, beautiful sequins. <laughs> And I love how this turned out. This sequin mix is probably one of my favorites. It's so pretty and a lot goes a long way. And I didn't need that much in each one. Um, since they're so little, 
they shake so nicely and they're so pretty. I love them. So the photo that I'm using is um, a photo of my dog, Pippa, and I know you guys have seen her on a few of my videos. She, I think I had snapped this when we had gotten back from our little vacation over Christmas, and so she was loving on mommy because she missed her. Um, so yeah, she's super cute, and I love her. So I thought, why not make a Valentine layout uh, with Pippa? Uh, since I had doubled up on my foam tape for each of my shakers, this is going to make my whole cut file uneven if I didn't lift the rest of it up. So I am doing the same exact layering of the foam tape. I just um, doubled it up on top of each other. I layered it on top of each other and then I'm cutting it so I can make as much co- um, I don't have to use too much um, basically. So I'm just scattering it around the cut file and I should have edited a lot of this out. <laughs> but I didn't I just left it in so yeah yeah you get to see me trim down all of this foam tape and I apologize I don't realize I don't know why I didn't cut this out so yeah you don't need to know about all that but anyway um yeah so I hope you guys are having a great day so far um, yeah I had a Valentine's day lunch today with a couple of my girlfriends and it was delicious and good company and we enjoyed it and uh, yeah but anyways yeah the sequin mix gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and don't forget to use my code brianna15 to save you 15% off your next order and yeah ta-da i have chosen or decided to choose a not a white uh background paper i went with gray i love gray and i love how the cut file stands out and a up on top of the gray cardstock and I wanted to add a little extra something something so I have taken this paint marker and I am splattering some white paint and to get the big splatters and then for the little splatters I had um, put some on my mat to get the paint flowing from the marker so I just took my paintbrush and added just a little bit of water not too much because I didn't want to dilute it um, so I added a little bit just to get some smaller splatters so on top of white paint, that or what I also like um, by using gray cardstock is the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. I love the way gold looks on um, the gray cardstock. So I did show you my shaker up close, and I love how it turned out. And then I had um, also, I don't think I talked about me putting Pippa's photo in the middle of the, the love. Oh, because I was curious or not curious I didn't really know where I was gonna put the photo I didn't want it to get lost but I thought it was perfect because it's your eye still draws into her immediately and then kind of moves its way out and uh, so I'm going in around the cut file um, or the middle love to make the love the word love stand out a little more um, so I just go with some black uh, ink and go around it and I go around it twice just to give it even more definition and I don't embellish this one too much. I really wanted the shakers as well as the cut file um, be the main. I always have a hard time <laughs> describing it, but I just wanted them to be the main focus on the page. So I pulled this other create paper. Um, this is from the same La La Love collection, I believe. So I'm just going to fussy cut some of these hearts uh, and then add them on three little parts of the cut file to create my visual triangle. Oh, and there's my, I forgot he had, was pointing towards um, uh, Pippa and my shakers. He likes to, my youngest son Elijah likes to come hang out with me in my craft room, whether he's just watching a video or playing with the dogs or um, doing his Legos. He's completely obsessed with Legos right now, but he likes to hang out with me in my room and he had uh, stood up to see what I was working on and saw that it was a, uh, a photo of Pippa, and he loves her so much. So yeah. All right. So there was already a lot of pink in the cut file, but in the sequin mix, there are a lot of different colors, like shades of blue and yellows and purples. So I thought adding these blue and kind of, it's kind of a mint, it's not really a mint. There are two different shades of blue um, hearts. So I thought that would be perfect to help bring out the extra colors that are in the sequin mix out um, on the rest of my page. 
So I'm just fussy cutting these hearts. And I originally wanted the, uh, like a border around each heart. Um, and then I mixed that idea real quick because I just wasn't cutting them correctly and it was bothering me. So I got rid of the border and just cut the hearts out completely. I love how it turned out. So I'm just going to create my little um, visual triangle. I'm going to have little two, no, three groups of two of these hearts. And then I'm just going to glue those down. And I had thought, oh yeah, I added a different, that I added two of those, that shade of blue. And then I'm just going to swap or move those around so I can have the dark blue on the left and then the other two right there. I thought about adding one of these heart charms um, from the Oh My Heart collection by Paige Evans. And I am so stingy. I, <laughs> I didn't want to use one on this layout. Um, so I'll save it for a different project. So I was content with how it looked because I thought about adding more ephemera and other things onto the cut file, but I didn't want it to get too busy and I didn't want to take away from my shaker elements. So I'm going to remove all of the backing paper or release paper from my foam tape and I'm going to adhere it to my cardstock. I love how this turned out. It's so cute. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue down my hearts. And then I have chosen um, this sticker sheet from Everyday Musings by Pinkfresh Studio. It's their newest line. I'm going to pull three gold hearts from there and then I'm going to stagger it on each of my uh, heart groupings and add one. And then I'm going to add um, I'm going to use my tiny attacher to add another element to my page. So I'm just going to staple each one just to give, give it a little something extra. And I think I do some sewing off camera. I add some stitching on the top and the bottom and that about does it. I don't add any journaling. Um, I keep it pretty simple. I thought about adding these enamel, um, shapes, but I don't, I'm pretty content with how it looks simple but fun and the shakers are a um a big piece of this layout and I love how they turned out and I think I think I'm done I think I say that yes I'm done <laughs> don't forget to use my code Brianna15 to save you 15% off of your next order here is my final layout I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for commenting liking and subscribing to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.